to my channel thank you for coming back if you are a returning subscriber god bless you for returning back here your support means a lot to me and i love you so much but if you're new here hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe click on that notification bell you'll find it down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video i can promise that you won't regret subscribing so please do that <laughs> So dear friends, in today's video, I've been receiving a lot of DMs on my Instagram at African Bella. I've also been receiving a lot of comments here on YouTube, people asking me, Bella, how can I start a conversation with a guy on online dating apps or how can I chat with a guy for the first time? Please help me out. <laughs> I know if you have never been on online dating apps, this question will sound very weird to you. You'll be like, how is that possible? It is so simple. <laughs> but guys, it is very, very difficult. If you don't have experience, I tell you that first message means a lot. <laughs> Cause that is where everything starts. So it is good to have information. It is good to have knowledge of how you are going to start that so that you won't fall into the hands of the wrong man so that you won't fall into the hands of the players or scammers so guys today's video i'm going to be sharing with you the tips and tricks on how to chat with men on online dating apps and there are two kind of chatting the first one is if the guy sends you a message for the first time what are you going to reply or how are you going to respond and the second is if you are a lady you are determined and you'd like to approach men on online dating apps how can you do that <laughs> so that is going to be out this video dear beautiful ladies <laughs> so dear friends like i said it all starts with that first message so that is what we're going to be discussing today and i'm going to start with the message that the guy has sent you because your response <laughs> will tell the guy if you're serious your response will tell the guy if you're desperate your response will tell the guy if you are a keeper if you are intelligent if you know what you want and before we go to your response it all depends with what kind of a message a guy has sent you so i'm going to be breaking down all these messages and how you should respond so dear friends our number one message i imagine you are on online dating apps i imagine guys i tend to imagine because i want you to feel that real situation because this is the real talk we are talking of the real things that happens so i imagine you are on online dating apps and then you receive a message from a guy let's imagine again <laughs> from the Netherlands telling you hi how are you going to respond this message some ladies will tell me I'm going to answer hi I am Lynette from Kenya I am so happy you sent me a message 32 years of age <laughs> I am working in this company telling him all your life some of you will answer that way but that is wrong you are supposed to answer hi too why am i saying you're supposed to respond hi too because we don't know what is the intentions of this guy why did he send you just a hi maybe this guy just went through your profile he saw your beautiful attractive photos and he was like no i can't just pass this profile without writing to this beautiful lady so i will just send a hi <laughs> but nothing serious <laughs> or oh, a guy has sent you hi maybe he's scared you are taken so he's just trying his luck and you responding in a way that you're telling him all your life that shows desperacy yes <laughs> or some guys just send hi to try you know they're trying the waters <laughs> to see if you're going to respond and if you want to respond it won't hurt him so much because he did not put his emotions in that first 
message it was just a hi so he wants to see if you respond it means that you have got some interest in him but if you don't respond it will be just okay because some guys are very scared to be told no are very scared to be turned down that is why a guy like that will send you the first message hi so you are supposed to respond hi and the next message will tell you if the guy really want to talk to you or he was just a player but never tell the guy all your story if the guy sends you just a message hi <laughs> so my advice on this do the same too say hi <laughs> Message number two, I am still breaking down that first message from a guy on online dating apps and how you should respond. So you are on online dating apps and you receive that first message from a guy and that first message is a novel. A guy doesn't know you well but he is already talking about love. A guy doesn't know you well, he's talking about how rich he is, how he is going to spoil you, the places that he's going to take you, if you accept to be with him, telling you a lot of things. But when you go through that novel, there is nothing like a compliment. Maybe you look good in your photos, or I like your smile, nothing. He is literally talking about himself. And in a proud way, <laughs> <laughs> guys if you watch my video where i talked to some guys who are bipolar who have got bipolar disorder those are such kind of guys a guy like that will never be serious and if you respond to this guy in a good way and maybe start a relationship what will happen to you it is that the guy will keep on writing the novels, telling you his fantasy. You know, these kind of guys, they like to fantasize a lot. So he'll be telling you a lot of things, fantasizing. And if you try to ask him serious questions about the two of you, this guy will never answer you. He will keep on talking about love. He'll keep on writing romantic messages. These kind of guys, they like just to write it will end there nothing more so never waste your time on a guy like that a guy who talks only about himself no compliments so this guy is not giving you any compliments but he is saying that he is attracted to black women hello you are talking to me <laughs> not all black women so the compliments should go to me should come to me <laughs> not I am interested in all black women because black women are very beautiful you are talking about me <laughs> so that is why I'm telling you these guys they are sick in the mind <laughs> not asking you any questions wanting to know you more no <laughs> It is just about him and telling you how he is going to make you happy, telling you romantic stories. Be aware of this and my advice, don't waste your time on this guy. But if you wanna give it a try, I know when you are on online dating apps, you wish and sometimes you hope every message that the guy sends you, maybe the guy is the one. So if you don't wanna lose this chance because the guy has sent you a message, you can respond to him in a shorter way and wait for the next message because it will tell you a lot. So let's go to message number three. You are on online dating apps and then you receive a message from a guy saying that, hi, this is my WhatsApp number or this is my Skype name. Let's communicate there. <laughs> what are you going to respond? Are you going to take his number and communicate to him? If you tell me yes, I'm telling you, you are making a big mistake. Because <laughs> that guy will never be serious. Why am I saying this? It's because a guy who is serious will not rush to exchange phone numbers with you, will not rush to give you his Skype name. He will take time to know you, he will get to know your hobbies, 
at least that basic information and then after that you are going to move to whatsapp or to skype whatever kind of communication that both of you are comfortable with he will never rush a guy who tells you these are my whatsapp numbers let's chat on skype this is my skype name let's chat on viber <laughs> not serious you are going to exchange phone numbers and then there he will start telling you i want to see what your mama gave you send me some beautiful beautiful photos of your boobs i want to know your boob size <laughs> They're going to tell you weird, weird things. Or just get naked and stay on camera with me. Those are the kind of messages you're going to be getting from a guy that sent you a first message as, hi, this is my WhatsApp number. So if you've been doing this mistake, don't do it. Not every guy that writes you a message online is serious. No, not every guy that wants to exchange phone numbers with you means that he is serious please get to know each other well at least i've said that basic information where the guy is from what kind of job does he do and you too where do you live such kind of information your hobbies if you feel like both of you because love is too people guys <laughs> not because you feel like or not because he feels like it's time to exchange phone numbers no when it's time for both of you you feel like you really really like each other so much and you would like to communicate more then from there you can exchange your whatsapp numbers or skype name whatever kind of communication means but you should understand that at that stage you really like each other if you don't like each other yet on the side don't go ahead and exchange phone numbers then expect magic to happen no my dear beautiful ladies i've been telling you the truth because <laughs> i want you guys to be safe when you are on these online dating apps protect your heart because if you exchange phone numbers with a guy, you are excited over the moon and then the next message, a guy sends you his eggplant. <laughs> that hurts. <laughs> it hurts your feelings. <laughs> so guys, that is how you should go about it. Never exchange phone numbers with a guy that you are not sure if that guy even likes you. <laughs> This reminds me back then when I was in Africa, you walk in streets, you don't know a guy, a guy just comes from nowhere and then starts asking you your phone numbers. <laughs> For sure guys, I used not to give them. The guys that I could share my phone numbers are the guys that maybe I've seen the guy more than two times or three. Then from there, I can, you know, give my phone numbers because i am single ready to mingle but it doesn't mean that i'm going to exchange my phone numbers to every guy that asks me for the phone numbers also i remember there is a story i gave you of the girl who found love online she told me bella it reached a moment if you go through my phone numbers all numbers are for the white guys that i met online but nothing serious came out of it <laughs> so learn from that too <laughs> also guys you should know that a guy who wants to exchange phone numbers with you immediately without even knowing you does not have good intentions with you and these guys are scared to be banned from the dating sites so they can't ask those nude photos in the site they know they're going to be removed or you might report them and then they are banned but if you do everything on whatsapp it's no longer the responsibility of the dating sites they are so clever so never waste your time on a guy like that message number four that you can receive from a guy on online dating apps it's that first message <laughs> and how you're going to respond to that so you are on online dating apps and the guy sends you a message hi beautiful or hi gorgeous 
you're so sexy i wish to kiss your whole body i wish to make love to you the whole night <laughs> i want you to make me your slave talking about you know goodies 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 how beautiful you are he wishes to kiss your feet if you receive a message from a guy it is a first message no matter how you want a white man in your life no matter how you want to settle down you will never settle down with that kind of mentality because <laughs> through the messages you can see what kind of mind the guy has same things you're so sexy i wish to kiss you you have beautiful lips <laughs> i could block the guy immediately so don't waste your time if you respond to this guy you are doomed <laughs> he's going to keep on writing the same things and that is when you will accumulate lots of messages from different guys on online dating apps that asks you nude photos that asks you weird things because you are accepting to keep on chatting do not accept if you see a message like that don't bother to answer you can either block or don't just respond because that is a sick mind those are guys who are players they'll start telling you i want you to satisfy me in bed are you so good in bed i heard black women are so hot in bed so so i imagine you and me together on the bed making ourselves you know happy <laughs> such kind of weird things to avoid all that do as i said i think this will be very very helpful to you ladies who have been telling me i've exchanged phone numbers with a guy and then he started asking me nude photos of course if the first message was hi you're so sexy i wish to kiss all your body what do you expect next <laughs> message number five that you can receive from a guy and it is that first message and the way you're going to respond to it it is a message like this hi lillian we imagine your name is lillian <laughs> so he starts like hi lillian how are you doing you are so beautiful i really like your smile i also went through your profile it really attracted me to write to you you seem like a genuine lady i would really like to get to know you more if you don't mind i'll be so happy if you respond to me if you receive such kind of a message that is a message from a serious guy because he first complimented you in a good way in a very respectful way not like the one that i told you you are damn sexy <laughs> no this message is very respectful he has given you compliments and he would like to know you more and he's telling you he will be happy if you respond to him and what i'm advising you respond to this guy and don't take so long to respond yes <laughs> online dating has got a lot of competition so you should play your cards very well if you receive a message like that then don't take so long to respond to this guy <laughs> he might be the one <laughs> so dear friends you have received a message from a guy that seems very serious in his first message what are you going to respond and how are you going to respond like i said don't take long before you respond to this guy that seems serious that might be the one so you are going to be responding like this hi andrew just like the way he started by mentioning your name so you are going to be starting by mentioning his name too not hi no <laughs> hi andrew thank you so much for the compliments yes of course i would like to get to know you more also feel free to ask me any question as the way of getting to know each other that one guys there is a trap in it 
if I am wrong or if we are wrong, thinking that his message was so good, very respectful, he might be the one, his next message will tell you a lot. That is why you are telling him or you are asking him to ask you questions, he should feel free. So if the guy is a player, <laughs> he is going to start immediately asking you for nude photos, telling you that, oh my God, I would like to see your behind. <laughs> Yes, because <laughs> you set a trap for him. But a serious guy will start the normal way that I have been telling you. Getting to know you, getting to know your hobbies, getting to know your country, asking you things about the culture. You know, if you like watching TV, what are your favorite shows? Such kind of questions, normal things. I've been telling you guys, serious men talk of normal things they don't exaggerate never <laughs> and that is why most ladies misunderstand that expect that a guy will start telling you romantic things telling you i'm going to marry you such kind of things in a short period of time no you are going to chat normal things i told you minimum three months before you know how you are going to meet and when but before that as in getting to know each other you are going to be talking of normal things that's a serious guy so when you receive that message remember to set a trap for the guy so that you know if he is really really serious like we thought before or like you thought before or if he is a player you will know yeah so guys that is the right way you can respond to the guy on online dating apps, especially if the message seems like a serious guy. So guys, we are moving to the next category, the second of if you are a lady who likes to approach men or you are on online dating apps, like I advise you that don't wait to be found. If you're there, you are not receiving any messages from guys you can start approaching men don't feel shy because you know you're fighting a battle <laughs> i told you being on online dating apps can be like fighting a battle so you are fighting this battle and you should fight it well <laughs> if they're not writing to you approach them so you want to approach but how can you approach them <laughs> let me help you <laughs> Number one thing that you're supposed to do before you approach a guy on online dating apps, I shared videos where I talked of how to date or how is it like to be in a relationship with men from different countries and I'll still keep on bringing other countries that I haven't shared yet. So before you approach, you really need to approach a guy that you know is from a country that has got guys that are serious guys that you can create something concrete like a family keep it in mind before you approach a guy so number two go through a guy's profile and don't just look at the photos he might be cute yes he might have you know six packs <laughs> but matters a lot mentally mature he should be a guy who is mentally mature and through his description you are going to discover if the guy is mentally mature or not don't go and write to a guy that the description is blank if you do that mistake oh my god you are finished if you remember the story of Norin that American guy did not have anything in his description it was blank did you see where it ended badly so never approach a guy that did not take time to write something in his description because serious guys always take time to write in their description so that if comes a serious woman will understand that the guy is serious so take your time to go through his description what he has written if the guy is looking for a damn sexy black woman that has got big behind and nothing more 
don't bother even if you've got big behind <laughs> don't bother to write to that guy yes of course in the description you should write what you are looking for in a woman but that is not all <laughs> <laughs> it is not all guys and if I was advising men I wouldn't advise a guy to write such kind of words in his description so the description matters a lot if you go through a guy's description and the words are so catchy attractive respectful he seems to be a serious guy talking of normal things guys not exaggerating not saying that I've got three villas i've got 10 expensive cars no talking of the normal things then you can go ahead and approach this guy so how are you going to approach this good guy seems like a good guy <laughs> that first message you are supposed to start like this hi andrew mentioning his name i am lynette from kenya 32 years of age or 25 years of age i went through your profile i must say that i like your photos you seem like a good guy and i would like to know you because i am looking for a sincere man i'm looking for true love if you'd like to get to know me more i'll be here waiting for your response i'm telling you dear beautiful ladies if this guy is really seriously looking for true love online this guy is going to know that you are a serious lady you know what you want and you are so respectful you are not desperate then when he responds to you please don't go so fast wanting to know this guy's life in one day <laughs> it won't happen and that is when he will think that i made a mistake responding to this lady is one of those desperate women yes so take it slow once you know that the guy is really interested responding to you means that he is kind interested and continuing chatting to you means that he likes you so when you are sure this guy likes you then let the guy do the work <laughs> don't be the one to be all the time starting the communication wanting to know his daily activities no let the guy do his work but again i'm not saying that you shouldn't answer this guy on time answer on time not always starting the communication not showing that you are in charge no some men want to do the chess and those are serious men <laughs> yeah a guy who will start communicating to you and then start telling you i am busy that is why i did not write to you yesterday this weekend i won't be available his description might have been like he is serious but in real sense or in real life he is not serious so what i'm advising you after you have approached the guy and the guy shows that he is interested let him do the work <laughs> let him be the man <laughs> yeah and don't accept excuses don't be like oh again it's me who approached him no <laughs> it doesn't matter maybe the guy was taking long to get to know you so you simplified everything for him to write to him but that doesn't mean that you should be the one to run after him all the time keep that in mind my dear beautiful ladies also as in chatting guys don't be explaining yourself or telling this guy the whole of your life story if the guy is not asking don't do that let him ask as i am saying let him do the work let him be the man but that is how you start a conversation with a guy on online dating apps i am very sure that this video is going to be very helpful to you i hope you have enjoyed this video very very much if you did please give it a thumbs up share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something watch my other videos too they are super good comment below what you think about this video i would like to know what you think please guys if you know you are capable of joining my channel membership please please support your girl <laughs>
<laughs> join my channel membership i love you so much guys you're always here in my heart let us meet in my next video ciao ciao